Hi ladies, so I'm looking at APR today, which is the annual percentage rate. And we're gonna look at some questions which might come up. So normally, this is used to compare loans. I always try to think of the P as when I'm paying, when I'm paying something out as opposed to AER and the E being earning, so savings. So this is more to do with loans. Now, you're given a formula in the formula book, which is C equals the sum of from K equals 1 up to M, A, K over 1 plus I to the power of T, K. Now, this can be a really, really confusing formula. But let's just sort out what these individual bits mean first. So A always refers to any repayments which are made. C is the initial amount borrowed or the cost of the loan. I is the APR and that must be expressed as a decimal and T is the time of the repayment in years. So again, in years is really, really important, okay? So, now what this formula actually means, this means that there could be lots of fractions going on forever and ever. And the number of these specific fractions that you need to add together is equal to the number of repayments. So, for example, if there were three repayments... you would need a fraction for the first repayment. Okay, at the first time that it is. Added to another one with the second repayment. Added to a third one with the third repayment. Okay, at the third period of time. So basically, however many fractions you have is equal to the number of repayments. If there were two repayments, I'd only need those two. If there were five, I'd need to go up to A, five. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at a different range of some questions to go through with you now. So this first question here, okay. A loan is taken out for five years at an APR of 22%. £750 is repaid each year. How much was the initial loan? So, the repayments are each year and it was taken out for five years. So, we know there are five repayments. So, I'm going to need five parts of these fractions. So, I'll start off with A1, 1 plus IT1, plus A2, 1 plus I, T2, plus A3, 1 plus I, T3, plus A4, 1 plus I, T4, plus A5, 1 plus I to the power of 5. Okay, and that is all equal to the cost of the loan. <coughs> Excuse me. So, each repayment is equal to £750. So I know that's going to be on my numerator. And it's divided by... Just let me change my pen. And it's divided by 1 plus I. Now, I is the APR as a decimal. Well, if the APR is 22%, to convert that to a decimal, we divide by 100. So I is going to equal 0.22. So I'm putting 0 0.22. Now the time, the first repayment, the time in years. Well, it's after the first year. So that's going to be 1. Plus 750 over 1 plus 0 0.22 squared, because it's the second year, all the way up to... Sorry... The fifth year. Mm 
Okay, so to find the cost of that loan, I just need to pop that into my calculator. So I'm going to use that fraction button on my calculator. 750 1 plus 0 0.22 plus 750 1 plus 0 0.22 squared. Okay, so this is a little bit time consuming. They probably won't go up to three years. Up to five years, sorry, in your exam because it would take quite a bit of time to do. But this is just to show you how to do it. Okay, so that comes out at £2,147.73. So I'm just going to check I've done that right. So I'm going back, just checking. I've put them all in. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. So the cost of that loan, the original loan borrowed was that. And I've just rounded that to the nearest decimal place nearest two decimal places because it's money. So that was the amount that was borrowed. Okay. So moving on then to the next question. So I'm gonna leave up that formula just there for us to look at. Steve takes out a payday loan. He repays 200 pounds a month for two months. So that is two repayments. So I need two fractions. The APR is 452%. How much did Steve initially borrow? So two repayments means I need two bits of this formula. That should be a one for the first one. And that is going to tell me how much is borrowed. Now, what we need to be really careful with here is that actually these period of times aren't after year and we need to express that time in years. So after one month, that is going to become one out of 12. After two months, that's going to be two out of 12. So we can start filling in our information. So each repayment is £200. And our APR will be that divided by 100. So APR as a decimal will be 4.52. So again, that's 1 out of 12 because it is expressed as a year. It's 1 twelfth of a year. Added on to £200 over 1 plus 4.52, 2 out of 12. Okay, so biggest things to notice are these here. And also just be careful that that as a decimal is going to be 4.52. So just substitute that in, pop it into your calculator. 200 over 1 plus 4.52 plus 200 over 1. In fact, I need to express that power there. 1 twelfth, 200 over 1 plus 4.52 and the power again is 2 out of 12. It's really easy to forget that power. So that is £323.90. So the cost of the loan is £323.90. <clears throat> Next question. So, a lender advertises an APR rate of 6%. They say if you borrow £10,000 over three years, you need to repound, repay £4,000 each year. Is the APR advised correct? 
So it's over three years, so there are three repayments. So I need three parts of that formula. So I'm going to start off by writing that out. A1, 1 plus I, T1, plus A2, 1 plus I, T2, plus A3, 1 plus I, T3. <clears throat> okay, so we're basically confirming that this APR advertised is correct. So if we ignore that for now, ignore that we know the cost of the loan, ignore we know they've borrowed £10,000, we're going to substitute in all the information into this part of the formula to check we get £10,000 out as an answer. So they're saying it's repayment of 4000 each time. 1 plus I, well the APR as a decimal will be 0 0.06. And it's repaid each year, so we don't need to worry about writing these as a fractions because it's already in years. So that's going to be 1 plus 4,000, 1.006 squared, plus 4,000, 1 plus 0 0.06 cubed. So if they're right, that should come out as... £10,000. So let's see. So that comes out at £10,692. And five pence. So no, the APR advised is not correct. Okay, if this had come out £5 or so either side of it, then yes, but not 700 that's far too off. Okay, next question. So we've got two more to go. This one's about Clive. So Clive takes out a loan of £40,000 over three years. The APR is 4%. So I equals 0 0.04. He makes equal repayments at the end of each year. Each year for three years means three repayments, which means three fractions for the formula. How much is each repayment? Now, we know they're equal, that's very important to us. So I'm going to start writing it out. Three fractions needed. A1 over 1 plus I, T1, plus A2 over 1 plus I, T2, plus A3 over 1 plus I, T3. Each repayment is equal, so I'm going to make these all equal to x. And I also need that to be 40,000 because I'm finding this unknown. So my next line with all the substitution in will be x over 1 plus 0 0.04. It's the power of 1 because it's each year. x over 1 plus 0 0.04 squared plus x over 1 plus 0 0.04 cubed. Now, the easiest way is to isolate x by factorising. So I'm going to take x outside my bracket and I'm going to leave these fractions in the middle. I'm just going to tidy those up by writing it as 1.04 okay? plus 1 over 1.04 squared plus 1 over 1.04 cubed equals 40,000. Now, to move that over, I'm going to divide because they're multiplying at the moment. So I get 40,000 divided by that bit from before, so that whatever was inside my bracket. 
and that is equal to the repayment. So I'm just going to type that into my calculator. 40,000 yeah, divided by 1 over 1 1.04 plus 1 over 1 1.04 squared plus 1 over 1.04 cubed. Close the bracket because we know we're dividing by all of that. And that gives me £14,413.94. pence. So each repayment is £14,413.94. pence, Which kind of makes sense because if I times that amount by three, that's just a bit over the £40,000 that he's borrowed. So he's paid £3,241.82 in interest, which is a small amount compared to the amount borrowed, but the APR was quite small as well. So that's a good way to do a little check. Last question then. So Sophie buys a TV costing £8,000 on finance with an APR of 12.5%. She has to pay off in two years. At the end of the first year, she can pay off £4,000. How much will she need to pay off at the end of the second year to clear the debt? So this time there's one repayment that we need to find out. So essentially we need to find out A2, that second repayment. There are two repayments, so two fractions. So I've got a1, so the loan was £8,000 over, which was my C, over 1 plus I, and it's the end of each year, 1 plus A2 over 1 plus I2. Just to make it nicer, I'm just going to make that A2 equal to X, because you're used to seeing letters in algebra. Let's substitute in other things that we know, so 8000 over the 4000 she can pay off at the end of the first year. 1 plus the APR is a decimal, which is 0 0.125, plus, and that's to the power of 1 because it's the end of a year, plus this X that I want to find out, the secondary payment, over 1 plus 0 0.125 squared. Okay, so let's first calculate what this would be and take it over to the other side. So I'm going to do 8,000 take away 4,000 over 1 plus 0 0.125 and let that equal the 1 plus 0 0.125 squared. So let's simplify that. and that gives me a horrible decimal. So I'm gonna leave that as a fraction to keep it nice and exact. So that's 40,000 over nine equals X over one plus 0 0.125 squared. And I want X by itself, so I'm gonna move that over by multiplying it. So I get 40,000 over nine times by one plus 0 0.125 squared and that will equal that second repayment. I've still got that on my calculator screen, so it's nice to type in. I'm going to times that by 1 plus 0 0.125 squared. 5625. So x equals 5625. So that would mean, actually, in total, she's paid for that TV, this 565 for her second repayment, plus that 4,000, so 9,625 pounds she's had to pay for that TV. Well, the TV cost 8,000, she got it on finance, so she had to pay just over 1,000 pounds in interest, which seems about right. Okay, right, thanks ladies.